reduction formula for integration of sin raised to m x into cos raised to n x dx and integration of 0 to pi by 2 sin raised to m x into cos raised to n x with respect to x where m and n are positive integers okay now let integration of sin raised to m x into cos raised to n x with respect to x is equal to that means i m n as an integration now it is equal to integration of sin raised to m minus 1 x and sin raised to 1 x into cos raised to n means minus 1 plus 1 get cancelled you get previous step and with respect to x cos raised to n with respect to x is equal to integration of u and this part is phi with respect to x you know the integration by parts we have integration of u v with respect to x is equal to u integration of v dx minus integration of integration of v dx and u dash means differentiate dx and so on okay here integration of v is this is integration of v is integration of sin x into cos to n x dx now put cos x is equal to t and differentiate minus sin x dx is equal to dt okay and here now here integration of v dx means this integration part this is t raised to n dx sin dx is a minus dt so minus dt with respect to t and integrate this one minus t raise to n plus 1 upon n plus 1 t means what cos x means t raise to n plus 1 means minus cos raise to n plus 1 x upon n plus 1 now i m n is equal to now this part u is as it is integration of part sin raise to m minus 1 x and integrator of integration of this part is this one minus cos s2 n plus 1 x upon n plus 1 minus integration of integration one time integration is already over minus cos s2 n plus 1 x upon n plus 1 and differentiate this one differentiate this part u dash okay now differentiate m minus 1 sin this 2 m minus 2 x again sin differentiate cos x with respect to x now minus sin this 2 m minus 1 x into cos this 2 n plus 1 x upon n plus 1 minus uh, minus is minus minus is a plus m minus 1 upon n plus 1 take outside integration of sin rest to n my m minus 1 x and cos rest to n plus 1 and cos rest to 1 means cos rest to n plus 2 x with respect to x okay now this part is as it is and plus m minus 1 upon n plus 1 integration of sin rest to m minus 2 into cos rest to n into cos square x okay separate it cos rest to n into cos square x dx now cos square x means 1 minus sin square these steps are same no change only this part cos square x means 1 minus sin square x ok now same no change same term plus m minus 1 upon n plus 1 integration of sin raise to m minus 2 x open it cos raise to n x dx and minus m minus 1 upon n plus 1 cos is to n sin is to m minus 2 and plus 2 minus 2 plus 2 get cancelled sin is to m x dx now this part is a i m n m minus 1 upon n plus 1 this integral part is a i m n and this integration part is sin is to m minus 2 this m minus 1 upon n plus 1 sin is to m minus means i m minus 2 and cos n is a n ok now shift left hand side okay i m m n is common 1 plus minus plus become minus m minus 1 upon n plus 1 is equal to 
1 upon n plus 1 is a common minus sin s2 m minus 1 into cos s2 n minus n plus 1 x plus this plus m minus 1 i is i m minus 2 and n i m n and uh, this one is a uh, multi cross multiply so m plus n upon n, n plus 1 now m plus n upon n plus 1 is equal to 1 upon n plus 1 is common minus inside minus sin s2 m minus 1 x cos s2 n plus 1 x plus m minus 1 into i m minus m minus 2 and n i m is equal to means integration of sin s2 m x cos s2 n x dx this is i m n is equal to so minus sin s2 m minus 1 x cos s2 n plus 1 x divided by okay both side m plus n is cancel n plus 1 and m plus n is cross multiply divided by m plus n plus m minus 1 and cross multiply m plus n i m minus 2 n this is equation number 1 let using with limits 0 to pi by 2 integration of 0 to pi by 2 sin s2 m x cos s2 n x dx is equal to so already this part is integrated just you apply the limit 0 to pi by 2 plus this part and cos 90 and sin 0 0 apply upper limit and low, 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 lower limit this term is 0 only remaining this part i m n is equal to m minus 1 upon n plus n i m minus 2 n this part again put m is equal to m minus 2 i m minus 2 n m is a m minus 2 means m minus 3 m is a m minus 2 means m plus n minus 2 and m is equal to m minus 2 means m minus 4 n hence ok substitute here m minus 1 m plus n and i m minus 2 means this one m minus 3 upon m plus n minus 2 i m minus 4 n this one is substitute here by back substitution this is a continuing ok continuous process so i m is equal to m minus 1 upon m plus n into m minus 3 upon m plus n minus 2 into m minus 5 is continue upon m plus n minus 4 and so on continue into 2 upon 3 plus n i 1 n if m is odd this part is odd 1 upon 2 plus n i 0 n if m is even this is 0 means even 2 4 6 even now take this part i 1 n i 1 n means this is i m n m is equal to 1 ok now i 1 n is equal to integration of 0 to pi by 2 m means 1 sin n cos s to n x dx now take cos x is equal to t and minus sin x, uh, sin x dx is equal to dt now t raised to n minus t raised to n integrate you get minus t raised to n plus upon n plus 1 t means cos cos n plus 1 x upon n plus 1 put upper limit lower limit cos 90 is 0 cos 0 is 1 minus of minus 1 upon n plus 1 is a 1 plus 1 upon n plus 1 this is odd now take m is even now m is equal to take even means 0 i 0 n is equal to integration of 0 to pi by 2 sin s to 0 means 1 and this is cos s to n x dx this one is already proved in previous steps ok we get like this e1 and odd and i m n is equal to m minus 1 upon m plus 1 is continue and so on plus 1 upon n plus 1 if m is odd and n is e1 or odd both ok and so on therefore i m n is equal to m minus 1 upon m plus n into m minus 3 upon m plus n minus 2 and so on 1 upon 2 plus n into n minus 1 by n into n minus 3 by n minus 2 and so on 2 by 3 this is 1 1 means if m is even and n is odd and second one is n minus 1 upon n into n minus 3 upon n minus 2 and so on 1 by 2 into pi by 2 second one second one means if m is even and n is odd 